internships why do you need them where do you find them and how do you get them in this video i'm going to tell you the answers to all of these questions as well as give you a little secret that helped me get the internship of my dreams so keep watching till the very end if you're new to the channel, my name is Saloni Verma and I recently graduated from Cornell University. I'm a biomedical engineer and I'm currently working in New York. In this video, I'm going to go over the importance of internships because that's what really helped me stand out in my college application process and helped me grow my professional network. Throughout this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the most rewarding internships that are out there for you guys, irrespective of whether you're in high school, undergrad or graduate studies, this will work for you. And the best part is, no matter where you are in the world, you can apply for these internships and stand a good chance to get into them. But one thing before I get started that I would like to put out here is, uh, please make sure you go through the eligibility requirements as well as the fine details of everything I talk about. All the links to everything that I talk about will be in the description below, so don't forget to check those out. So why are internships so important? When you're in high school or in undergrad, we usually have our head buried in books, assignments, we're busy giving semester exams, and the entire focus more or less is to get good grades. Now, when I was an undergrad, I wish that someone had told this to me and I'm going to be that person for you guys. An internship gives you that opportunity to actually apply those fundamental concepts. Now, before jumping into the list of internships that I have for you guys, let's talk about the benefits of actually doing them. Because whether you're in high school or undergrad or grad, this is what's going to help you stand out from hundreds and thousands of applications and make you unique. The first benefits of internships is definitely the exposure into the real world. Now, no matter how much a book can teach you when you actually go out into the real world to apply that knowledge, I guarantee you it's going to be different. You're going to learn something more and it's definitely going to go beyond whatever you studied in your textbook. That experience on the whole is invaluable. The next benefits is learning about yourself and your limits. Now, when you're doing an internship, you get the chance to expand your skill set. You get to see what you're interested in, something that you may like to study in a book definitely may not translate into the real world experience. You may enjoy doing something else and internships are the perfect place to see where you find that perfect fit. The next benefit is making connections and growing your network. Now, the more people that you meet during your real life experiences, you'll have the chance to learn something new from them because they're going to have different expertise and be from all around the world. The next benefit of internships is a possibility of it translating into a full time job. Now, when you're doing an internship, you have the opportunity to leave an impression on your colleagues, on your manager and actually demonstrate your skill set. So in most cases, these internships do lead to a full time job. Now, towards the second year of my undergrad, when I finally understood the importance of internships, it wasn't an easy task to find one. So the next question is, where do you find these internships? Now, in this witch hunt, the internet, LinkedIn, online job postings, and your professors are going to be your best friends. Now, out of all of these that I just mentioned, something that worked really well for me was LinkedIn in particular. What I would do in my second year of undergrad was reach out to CEOs and HRs of different companies that I was interested in and just try to start a conversation with them, even if that company didn't necessarily have a job posting. Now, my goal here was to connect with people who had a similar research interest as me. Now, to make things easy for you guys, I'm going to go over a couple internship examples that are mostly available to international students, and you have a good chance of actually getting into one of these. The first one on the list, and personally my favorite, is the MyTax internship. This internship is available to international undergrad as well as graduate students, especially in India as well as these countries right over here. Now, this internship runs for about 12 weeks from May to October every year, and the goal is to provide a valuable research experience in top-notch Canadian universities. The next one on the list is the SN Bose Student Exchange Program. 
This program is quite competitive and the goal of this program is to give Indian students the chance to study in US-based institution with the long-term goal of taking up science and technology-based research. Now this particular scholarship offers a competitive monthly stipend, covers health insurance as well as airfare. Most students doing their masters or their bachelors are eligible to apply. The next one on the list is the NTU India Internship Program. This one is definitely a competitive one and it lasts for roughly two to six months. Indian students get the opportunity to work in a research-based environment in NTU Singapore. The last one on the list, and I'm definitely going to pronounce this wrong, so I'm going to stick with the abbreviated form, is the DAAD Germany Internship. This program targets Indian students who are interested in pursuing a career in science and technology to give them research experience in German-based universities. So now I've given you all of the different types of internships, shown you where you can find them, but the question of the hour remains, how do you actually land an internship? So here's a, a quick story. When I was hunting for internships, I was writing to a lot of CEOs and HRs, and this one particular CEO responded to my request on LinkedIn. He, it was from a small hospital in Bangalore, and he reached out and asked me what my goals were and what I really wanted out of the internship. And me, I just went blank. That's it. I had nothing prepared to say to him. I didn't, I, I myself just didn't know what I was hoping for. To be honest, at that time, I didn't think that anyone would actually respond to all of my requests. Whole point here is this is where an elevator pitch comes in handy. Now, an elevator pitch is exactly what it sounds like. Imagine you're stuck in an elevator with Bill Gates and you have the length of that elevator ride to convince him to hire you and give you a job. What would you say? <laughs> okay, take some time to draft a 20 or 30 second pitch describing your professional experiences and what you have to offer. Here the idea is to relate your past experiences and show how they would be useful in the position that you're actually applying for. Now in the order of importance, I would say cold calling, emailing, and LinkedIn are the best places to go to find internships. Make sure that you connect with a manager or HR, basically someone who's in charge and can actually accelerate or take your um, request to the next level. The idea here is to keep your elevator pitch ready, don't be shy to tell them what you have to offer, and make sure that you're respectful when you're talking to them. All right, so that covers up why internships are important, where you can find them, and how you can get them. My little secret when I was applying to internships was definitely having that elevator pitch handy. Make sure that you have one for yourself. I hope that you guys found this video useful, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like, comment down below, hashtag Crazy Medusa if you have any questions and something that you think I didn't go over in this video, I'd be happy to interact with you guys over in the comment section down below. But until then, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you guys are interested in knowing more about college tips, click here on this playlist. I did a bunch of other videos that can be really helpful for you guys, just like this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.